Hello to visiting again the Native Instruments Complete Control Mark II. And so far there was an issue with it. You could not really use the functionality to access the instrument plugin. So the complete plugin to control adding and editing the specific Native Instruments plugins. But now with the latest update of the complete control software, Native Instruments also sends now the necessary information to all doors. Before that, it was only sent to Steinberg Cubase and to Ableton. But now we also get the data for Bitwig, Reaper and so on. But there are some hoops you need to jump through. As you see, I already added the Driven by Moss extension with the Complete Control Mark II and it's running nicely. What's not yet running nicely is the control of the specific plugin and browser mode. So what we need to do is first let's add a Complete Control plugin. We don't need the window. So what you see now, the native instruments uses the first automation parameter to send the ID of the complete control. And you see now it's set correctly. So it says it's the first plugin. And what you need to do now is to map that as the first instrument device parameter so that my extension can read that information. To do this, normally everything is empty here. You go here on that symbol and down there you say you want to create a new device page then click on the mapping icon and just select that one uh, we can also do that again so click here for the mapping and then click the first one and everything is set and then you simply click save and apply also feel free to add the other parameters so we could go on like this for setting the scale for setting the root node scale type what else do we have scale key mode and the core type scale bank and the chord position. Click on save apply and then whenever you start up Bitwig Studio the setting will already be correct for you. There is now a second issue we need to fix. If you look now if you do a second track which contains the plugin you see strangely there is the same ID set and let's go back to here so you see both have the same ID zero so this will also not make it work. I found out by accident that the actual problem and reason for that is that if you have set the plugins to be encapsulated to each other it seems that the complete control plugins cannot talk to each other and cannot test for their ideas somehow so what you need to do is you need to select one of these two modes but you will lose with that the feature to encapsulate each of your plugins in its own process so if one crashes everything crashes so a little bit of a drawback but so far I had not a problem with that. Select one of these and then the IDs will work. To make it work, you either need to reboot or reload your project. Just let's create a new one, which shows the same thing. Go here and say, let's create a new project. Activate it. Uh, clean up my default template. Add the complete plugin again. Close it down. You see it's zero. And now let's make a copy. And you see it's working fine. You have the first one. And we can also check that it is working if we go here on a device you see I can go to plugin and browse. So let's say we want to add here for example let's add kind of a base. Okay, load that up. So we have a laser base loaded, which is an reactor instrument. And you see, if we go to the mixer, we can select the second track, which also contains the plugin. Uh, you need to go on plugin, then also on browse. And there you can now select something else. Just for the sake of example, let's select anything. Go to load. And there you see we have here the session string. And if you go back to the first track, there will be also the reactor again. So this is also working nicely. And that's what you need to do. And if you did it once, it's always working. So remember, at the extension, map the first parameter and change the plug-in handling. Okay, I hope you have some fun now with it. And don't forget to make some funky music.